Plural Plus, recognizing youth as powerful agents of social change in a world often characterized by intolerance, cultural and religious divisions, Plural Plus aims to support youth media addressing key challenges in their communities related to migrant integration, inclusiveness, identity, diversity, human rights, and social cohesiveness. We especially recognize the importance of having a festival that celebrates youth media with videos that explore some of the most pressing issues of our time. We as well believe that media, when harnessed for the public good, can create awareness, encourage action, and change lives. It's a dialogue that you will see going on here on a daily basis. We really noted the exceptional quality of all the films, and they were all so great that it was impossible for us to choose just one, so we chose three, uh, three winners. Thank you all for coming. Thanks to these uh, award winners tonight, but also to all the many, many video makers who had to stay at home, uh, but did contribute to the effort, and their production will also feed a lively conversation how to build more inclusive societies where we can all live together in harmony. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. We received a record number of submissions. We received 145 submissions this year from, <laughs> from 49 countries around the world, five continents, all committed to creating a better world. And that's really what's at the essence, and that's at the root of these. I've seen firsthand the power of filmmaking and storytelling to channel the expression of youth who sometimes have no other voice in society but their art. So I really want to salute you for your courage, all of the filmmakers, for your passion, and for the talent you exhibited in, in making these films and in, in such a short amount of time. This is a very interesting uh, project uh, for the children, for the um, the future of the children. The future is our art of the children. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Jordan Solani. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I'm so honored to receive the International Jury Award. First, I want to thank Plural Plus for the amazing opportunity and all of the sponsors, organizers, and jurors. Next, I want to thank my sisters, my, my sister, my family, and my grandparents for flying all the way from Vancouver to be here. Next, also, I want to thank my friends Quentin and Wyatt who acted in my film. Congratulations to all the winners, and it was great meeting all of you. Thank you again, and have a good night. I think we live in a world where we don't celebrate diversity, but I think we should, because in the global village that we live in, I think our differences are the only thing that we actually have in common. Um, so I think that's really something that we should remember. And I love to use animation in my work because I think Animation is really powerful. It can cross divides. Um, people of different races and of different ages can understand animation. It's fun, it's playful, it's easy to understand. The Institute is an uh, academic research institution at the University of Houston. Uh, we promote our research on social issues, support uh, faculty uh, and students, and provide scholarships. I'd like to appreciate your this invitation. I'm very really pleased and honored to be part of this wonderful event. And now the uh, this award, I'd like to read certificate of award presented to gift by Ryan Ten from Malaysia and his team for excellent video response to United Nations Alliance Socializations Plus Plus Youth Film Festival in recognition of outstanding contribution to peace, social justice, and harmony among the world youth. Commercial peace. Commercial. I stand here with great feelings of joy as this is the second time that I'm here in New York to receive an award from Prula Plus for one of my favorite short videos produced this year. It gives me great pride that I'm here with another young man from Kuala Lumpur to receive this award. 
He is Pang Jiawei, a student studying multimedia at Ta College. The main concept for, for gift was from Jiawei. I'd like to give Jiawei the full credit for his brilliance and effort in making this short video. This award means a lot to us. It will greatly encourage us to continue to work hard. I'm really proud to be here on behalf of my school and my country, Malaysia. I'm also glad to have the opportunity to visit New York City. <laughs> I'm deeply grateful to my family, friends, and teachers at Takoresh. Thank you. None of this will be possible without partnerships and without the support of, of really committed people. And obviously, none of them will be possible without the young people making their own media. So, first of all, really thanking the, the, the support and, and the encouragement. But I just would like to very briefly put a little bit of in context to see what, what is Pro. So, we call it actually a youth video festival, but more than a festival, it's really a platform of distribution. Uh, what you see today is really just the tip of the iceberg. All the, all the videos that actually this year, 23 videos are actually receiving awards, which are happening in, in the insert in the program. These videos are actually then put within a, a DVD, and then they're being distributed around the world. Throughout 2012, 12 plus videos will be shown literally around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here tonight. And I'm now going to deliver a message from Barcelona for the Jury for the Pro Plus Barcelona Forum Award is proud to give this award to Kids for Kids by Wapol May, co-produced by Sarah Cassie Trust, Slum Talent Trust, and Cultural Video Foundation of Kenya. We especially value that the video encompasses the priorities of the Universal Forum of Cultures. We would like to congratulate the authors and all the youth that participated for their contribution towards the urban development in the world agenda. Uh, cleverly revealed uh, the message without using dialogue or text. That's something I really personally love about it. And then it left me asking questions like, why? Why? Right? Why? Exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, congratulations. Thank, Thank you um, for putting the word in here and for your
through his rap narrative in London, uh, Chris uh, tells his story of poverty and negatively the biased treatment. I'm really happy about that passion because it's hard to it's hard to use these days to get their voice out there and it's hard to get adults to listen. This is such an important initiative to promote peace, friendship and understanding one another, learning about other uh, learning about our differences and appreciating our communities. I would like to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate the United Nations Lives of Civilization Plus for providing this opportunity for the young people around the world to express their thoughts, their ideas, and their hopes for the future. And it's great to have governments take on the policies of cultural diversity, intercultural dialogue, teaching tolerance in schools, that's all important. But it's super important to bring it down to people, and especially young people, because we've just finished the Interna International Year for Youth. We had a theme on dialogue and mutual understanding. In these streets for you to prototype, no man flying with an S on his chest. You may get by with your fist, and I pray that you do, but a bullet will take any power you think you have. There's no use in being a superhero when you'll never outlive the mask you wear. These streets will try to show you that strength is a chainsaw of knuckles, but the abundance of single mothers in our family will let you know there's nothing stronger than the love of a woman. Thank you very much for your award. I'm very happy to be here and to see films by other young people. That's very interesting. And yes, and it's very nice to be in New York. <laughs> we say hip hop is the organic globalizer. Because you can go anywhere and see that hip hop is present in these places and that we're going to connect these places block by block. And the youth are the ones that are going to be reaching out to each other using hip hop to communicate.